Microsoft is looking to shake up the mobile gaming industry. How are they going to do that? Let's look and see how are they going to give both Apple and Google a run for their money. This is Island Gaming with Jay and don't forget to like the video if you have not. Not forgetting to listen to my friend here and I want to reach 1 million likes. So please sarap sarapara sarapakara sarapakara sarapaka as we look at the mobile space, if someone wants a game on mobile, there's only two companies they can look towards to download either that game or an app. That is either Google Play or the Apple iStore. Now, these two companies are a duopoly. They basically have the market locked when it comes to playing mobile games where you get the game from the launcher that is used it is either apple or google now microsoft is looking to change that with the acquisition of activision blizzard and king they are looking to launch their own store let's see what uh, the verge is saying about what microsoft is planning to do when it comes to their revamped Microsoft Mobile Store. Let's listen. Microsoft is getting ready to launch its Xbox Mobile Gaming Store as soon as next year. The software giant revealed its plans for an Xbox Mobile Store last year, and now Xbox chief Phil Spencer says the company is building the store in the anticipation of companies like Apple and Google being forced to open up their mobile app stores. We want to be in a position to offer Xbox and content from both us and our third-party partners across any screen where somebody would want to play," said Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer in an interview with the Financial Times. Today, we can't do that on mobile devices but we want to build towards a world that we think will be coming where those devices are opened up. Microsoft said last year it was working on a new Xbox mobile store. Microsoft first hinted at a next generation store early last year just a month after the company announced its proposed activision blizzard acquisition the xbox mobile store is designed to rival apple and google's mobile gaming store dominance and will rely on content from activision blizzard like call of duty mobile and candy crush saga two hugely popular mobile games published by activision and king respectively while Microsoft is building an Xbox mobile store, it will need regulators to take action against Apple and Google to ensure such a store can thrive on Android and iOS devices. Apple doesn't allow alternative stores on its iPhone and iPad devices, and even rival payment methods aren't available in most countries. Companies like Microsoft and Spotify are hoping the EU's Digital Markets Act will force Apple and Google to change how they distribute apps on mobile devices, and ultimately open their platforms and stores up to competition. The Digital Markets Act that's coming, those are the kinds of things that we are planning for, said Spencer. I think it's a huge opportunity. Microsoft has a small presence in mobile gaming right now and the Xbox maker admitted that in a filing with the UK's Competition and Markets Authority CMA, last year, Microsoft currently has no meaningful presence in mobile gaming and the Activision Blizzard transaction will bring much needed expertise in mobile game development, marketing and advertising. Now this is very interesting because while uh, Jim Ryan and Sony was, you know, focusing on Call of Duty for the console, here we have Microsoft making big moves to you know shake up the mobile gaming industry and if you all didn't know but the mobile industry um, makes the most money in gaming when it comes to the gaming industry as a whole so Microsoft focus here would be to hone in onto the mobile side of the mobile side of gaming now could Microsoft juggle both uh, mobile uh, side and a uh, home console side that is yet to be seen we know they had some trouble in the past producing first party content for their consoles and their fans but we'll see how they structure this deal um, and improve on what they deliver to their customers
Now let me know what you guys think. Are you thinking that this is dead in the water in the sense that Microsoft cannot compete with Google and Apple? Or do you think this could see some benefits for the consumer having a third option when it comes to where to go as a game launcher? Let me know in the comment sections below. This is Island Gaming with Jay. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Later.